Welcome to SGT Times Explainer, I am Ashutosh. Today we will discuss why are IT fresher earnings so low. Fresher earnings in Indian IT organizations have been stable for almost two decades. In striking contrast to soaring CXO compensation, Wipro has invited candidates who had previously been given Rs 6.5 lakh per year to join immediately at Rs 3.5 lakh per year. Why is the reason for the low pay? Quality difficulties with engineering graduates. Many studies have found that the majority of fresh engineering students are not immediately employable, raising concerns about their quality and the prices they can fetch. According to aspiring minds, just 2.5% of engineering graduates have tech skills in new technologies such as artificial intelligence, which are required for the digital era. Furthermore, the country's IT sector demands individuals who are proficient and well-versed in English since they must deal with a worldwide clientele. Many graduates lack great communication and other soft skills, which is viewed as a huge disadvantage when it comes to requesting better wages. Is there a mismatch between academic curriculum and corporate needs? IT newcomers account for 20-30% to 30 of the sector's 5 million person workforce. As a result, notwithstanding the gaps in competency at the fresh graduate level, it appears that the curriculum is not too out of date. Simultaneously, there is a need to restructure the academic curriculum at engineering institutions. Analysts feel that engineering institutions should get into arrangement with stakeholders in the relevant industries to introduce students to industry-initiated courses. This will boost industry academia engagement and the graduates employability. Add HOC adjustments in the Indian higher education system, according to analysts, would not help to solve the problem. To deal with high unemployment rates in meaningful way, addressing the curricular gap requires a systematic and fundamental shift. Did IT companies in the past overhire? During the pandemic, the digitization wave prompted many IT businesses to employ mid-level personnel at higher rates, raising costs and placing pressure on margins. Overhiring has also resulted in layoffs at numerous organizations, either due to corporate restructuring or poor performance at work. According to some analysts, such pricey mid-level recruiting comes at the expenses of lower-level compensation. It was stated that the work-from-home scenario during the epidemic made the costly employment of mid-level IT personnel simpler than previously. Several businesses began to address the issue of excessively expensive recruiting by reducing variable pay. Some analysts, however, pointed out that revenue productivity for each person at mark organizations has remained strong rather than declining with the pricey recruitment and maintained that the demand environment for these firms has remained solid. What is the outlook for new hires in FY24? IT services firms will continue to hire freshers as a cost-cutting tool to write their workforce pyramid. According to Amoti Lal Oswal analysis, the cost of acquiring employees with special talents in AI Machine learning and data science is quite expensive due to the scarcity of these people. As a result, IT firms prefer to hire new employees and teach them these skills once they are onboarded. However, due to macroeconomic uncertainty and delays in client projects awarding, freshers recruiting in FY24 may be lower than in recent years. In Q3 FY23, India's top four IT service companies added less than 2,000 jobs. Net headcount decreased at TCS and Wipro. TCS headcount decreased by 2,197, while Wipro's decreased by 434. If demand stays strong, major corporations may continue to employ. It's difficult to say at what levels. While the prognosis for global growth is less bleak at the moment, it remains bleak. The escalation of war tensions in Europe might hamper the global economy. If growth prospects in Western economies continue bleak, it would not bode well for Indian IT services. In India, 2.5% of engineering graduates are adept in new technology. Freshers account for 20-30% to 30 of Indian IT workforce. There are 5 million IT workers in the country. 
three lakh fourteen thousand of whom work for Infosys. The top four Indian IT businesses gained two thousand personnel in Q3 FY23. That's all for today in SGT Times Explainer. Thanks for watching.